What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, we're going to discuss about the fire protection system. So in this exercise, I'm going to create and lay out a wet and a dry fire protection system. So I'm going to create a sprinkler layout and a fire protection piping plan for a small room area and a hallway in a conference area. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place uh, sprinkler heads, I'm going to create a sprinkler system, and then I'm going to lay out the sprinkler piping system. Okay, so let's get started. So currently, if you will notice from the project browser, I'm at the second floor fire protection ceiling plan. Okay, so because the sprinkler that I will be using for this exercise is uh, ceiling hosted. Okay, so that is what I am going to use. Okay, so I'm going to create first the sprinkler system here on my uh, hallway. So I'm not going to fill up with sprinklers this, uh, the whole uh, hallway. Okay, so I'm just going to create part of the hallway. Okay, so what I'm going to do first from the systems tab. Okay, I'm going to select here the sprinkler. So I select the sprinkler and then from the properties, so this is what I'm going to use. M sprinkler dry pendant semi recess hosted 15 mm dry pendant. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to make sure that on the placement option, place on face is selected. So I'm going to select place on face so that the sprinklers will be placed on the face of the whole ceiling, okay? So, I already have here guide, the reference planes, I'm going to place it here. I'm going to pick one. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select here, modify. So, what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to copy this sprinkler, uh, additional two copies to the right side with a distance of 2,700. So, I'm going to pick this. And then, from the modify, I'm going to select the copy tool. And then, since I'm going to duplicate it multiple times, I'm going to select here multiple. And then, I'm going to constrain it so that the movement will be horizontal and vertical only. It's like uh, ortho in Revit. Ah, I mean in AutoCAD. So, I'm going to pick here the base point, And then, I'm going to move to the right side. So, with a distance of 2,700, enter. So, I'm going to move again to the right side, 2,700, enter. And then, I select here, modify. Okay, then what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to select the sprinkler heads that I have placed here on the left side and at the right side. So, I'm going to hold the control to select both. Okay, so I just selected two sprinkler here. So I'm going to copy it below with a distance of 2,700 again. So I'm going to select the copy. And then I'm going to make sure that multiple is checked, constraint is checked. So I'm going to pick here the base point. And then I'm going to move down with a distance of 2,700. Okay, so 2,700. 2,700 and 2,700. So let's say the total is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Okay, so the total sprinklers, 11. Okay, then I'm going to select here, modify. Okay. So after I place the sprinklers here on my hallway, so the next part is I'm going to place also here in this room, inside my room 52. So, I already place here, or Autodesk already place here this reference plane as our guide. So, again, from the systems here. By the way, the sprinklers that I have placed here, okay, so this is the type of a dry uh, sprinkler. So, later on, after I create the system, you will notice that the system that I'll be creating is a dry system. So, what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to... Uh, place sprinklers inside the room 52 using a wet sprinkler. Okay, so from the systems tab, 
uh, sprinkler. So I'm going to select here uh, M sprinkler pendant hosted 15 mm pendant. Okay, so M sprinkler uh, pendant hosted 15 mm pendant. So you just need to click the type selector and then look for 15 mm pendant. And like what I have be uh, like what I have used. So what I'm going to select here for the placement. So instead of place on vertical face, I'm going to select place on face. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, place it here on my reference planes here. So I pick here, and then I'm going to pick here also. And then I select modify. Okay, then after that, I'm going to duplicate this again with a distance of 3000. Okay, so I'm going to copy four more sprinklers with a distance of uh, 3000. So I'm going to select both this sprinkler. Oh, before that, I want you to take note that this is a uh, wet sprinkler. So as you can see here, the system classification is wet. Okay, because when they created this family, they have used the wet uh, system connector. Okay, so that's why the sprinkler is wet. So I select both. And then after that, I select here, copy. Uh, multiple constraint. Okay, so I'm going to pick here the base point. And then I'm going to move up with a distance of 3,000. Okay, so I'm going to copy two more. So 3,000. Then after that, I just select here, modify. Okay. So after I have placed all the sprinklers, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to create a sprinkler system. So I'm going to start first here on my uh, hallway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select any one of these sprinklers. So I'm going to select one. And from the create systems here, you will see the piping uh, tool. Okay, so I'm going to select this. So it will allow me to create piping system. So if you still remember, I also discussed this on my topic for uh, plumbing system and uh, chilled water return system that I have cre created on my past exercises. So from the create piping system, so I'm going to change the name. Okay, so I'll just change the name of this one. So let's say this is my uh, second floor. Okay, so second floor uh, fire protection dry. And then I'm going to check here open in system editor so that I can include the rest of the sprinklers to the system. So I check this and then I select OK. And then after that, using add to system uh, tool, so I'm going to select the rest of the sprinklers like this okay then after that i select here finish editing system there you go i just created the system for my dry so if i'm going to select one of the sprinklers here so you will notice there's already the system okay the system name and then i can also hover my pointer over the sprinkler and then i can press tab and it will highlight all the sprinklers that is included to the system. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do also on my uh, inside my room 52. So I'm going to create here this time a wet system. Okay, so I'm going to select the sprinkler, piping, and then I'm going to change the name. Second floor, fire protection wet. And then I'm going to make sure that uh, Open in System Editor is checked, and then OK. All right, then I just select all the sprinklers. Okay, so same procedure. Then after that, I select Finish Editing System. Okay, so I, if I select this one, so you will see here the system name again. Okay, so modify. So after that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lay out the sprinkler piping. Okay, so let's go ahead and start again here on our hallway. So I'm going to select one of a sprinkler. Okay, and then from the layout panel, you will see here uh, generate layout. 
Okay, so I select generate layout. Okay, and then from the uh, solution type, I'm going to select here a uh, perimeter. I select perimeter, and then you can also cycle the solution that Revit uh, created for you. Okay, so these are the solution. So I'm going to select here, let's say, 2 of 5. No, what about... Okay, so I'll just select here 4 of 5. And you can also change here the settings if you want. You can click this. And then you will see here the pipe conversion settings for the main pipe and then the branch pipe. The main pipe here, that is your blue lines there. The branch pipe here, that is your green pipe. Okay, so for the main here, so this is the height. Okay, so let's say I'm going to change this. So I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, 3,500 for the main pipe and same with the branch, 3,500 also. Okay, so I just select here, okay, and then I just finish. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so that is also what I'm going to do on my uh, web system here. Okay, so I'm going to select a sprinkler and then I select your generate layout. Okay, this time I'm going to select a network. Okay, so I select network. Network 1 of 5. Again, you can check out the settings of the pipe here and then you can change here the the offset. Okay, so let's say I'm going to, I'm going to change this to 2900. Oops, sorry. Then the branch also 2900. 2900. Okay, then I just finish the layout. There you go. Okay. So that is how you create a fire protection system in Revit MEP uh, using uh, various placement and layout tools. But of course, you can also create the uh, piping of your fire protection manually. Okay, so to check out the 3D of this, okay, I'm going to open here the second floor fire protection. There you go. Okay. So you may want to turn off the, uh, turn on the thin lines and change the detail level to fine. So as you can see it, the pipe is being represented by a single line. So if you want, you can change here the detail level to fine. So you can see the pipe there. You can also type SD to make it a shaded view. Okay, so this is the other one. So there you go. So hope you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions or, or questions, you can put it on the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So until then, bye-bye.